So you're thinking about relocating to the Southeast and maybe you're a retiree looking to retire to the Southeast and maybe get out of a colder climate or get to a lower cost of living. And one of the things that you're researching is which state has the lowest cost of living. And sometimes it can be really overwhelming just by doing a simple Google search because you're gonna get a lot of different results when you're looking at things. Lots of old information from old studies. And so my goal here is to help you understand this better, simplify it, and compare the southeastern states and show you exactly who has the lowest cost of living. So we're in South Carolina and we're gonna talk about South Carolina. We're gonna compare South Carolina to you know, some of the other southeastern states. But first, let's start by explaining how they measure cost of living. We use a simple national average of 100. So let's just say you find a state that's ranked as 110. Well, they're 10% higher than the national average. And likewise, you find a state that's ranked at 90. Well, they're 10% lower than the national average. The things that go into that equation and how those states are ranked is basically housing costs, food and groceries, healthcare, transportation, things like entertainment. All those things go in to measure cost of living. And so we're gonna give a quick comparison on the states in the Southeast and where they rank. South Carolina is actually approximately about 11% below the national average. So about 89 is the rank for South Carolina. Whereas North Carolina, also a very cost-friendly state, is about 9%. Uh, below the national average. Georgia is 7% below the national average. And actually, surprisingly, Florida is slightly above the national average. They're ranked at 103, so 3% above the national average. That should give you a really good sense of what the Southeast looks like in terms of cost of living. But what I wanna focus on right now is what makes South Carolina the lowest cost of living out of the southeastern states that I just mentioned. So the first one is the biggest one that everybody always wants to know about, which is taxes. You know, this is a big component of why South Carolina is such an attractive state from an affordability standpoint. We are ranked the 13th lowest state in the country for taxes. Uh, from an income tax perspective, there's a progressive tax here. So depending on how much you earn, that really will determine what you pay in income tax, but the top marginal rate is 7%. But probably one of the biggest benefits in South Carolina from a tax perspective is the fact that South Carolina ranks as the fifth lowest in the country for property taxes, and it's huge. The effective tax rate in South Carolina is 0.55%. Uh, and that's for primary residents. Now, if you live in South Carolina, that's a huge benefit. If you own a second home, the taxes are considerably higher. Uh, they can be as much as two and a half to three times as high as a primary resident. But for primary residents, it is a huge benefit. Uh, also, if you're a retiree and you're relying uh, partially on social security benefits, there is no tax on your social security benefits and pension, uh, both private and public, and qualified retirement plans are only partially taxed, whereas many other states fully tax them. So from a tax standpoint, South Carolina is a pretty attractive state. Okay, the next big one is housing, and everybody always wants to know, you know, how much you can, you can get a house for in a given area. And in South Carolina, we're well below the national average. In fact, the median price in South Carolina for the entire state is $246,720. But be careful, because where you go in the state will dramatically swing that median sales price. So for example, we're in Hilton Head and Bluffton, South Carolina. Uh, it is a beautiful place to live. Uh, it has become a very popular place to relocate to, to retire to, um, and has always been more expensive, but you know, given the considerable appreciation in South Carolina has even become more expensive. So, in Hilton Head in Bluffton, South Carolina, the median sales price as of right now is $510,000. Charleston is actually a little bit more expensive than us, median sales price there about 530. But then you can go some places like Myrtle Beach where the median sales price is 301 and you can actually still get the great South Carolina beach life and that sort of subtropical environment 
uh, and oftentimes find a better value there if you know Bluffton and Hilton Head are a little bit too expensive for you. When you get more upstate into places like Columbia, you'll find that the median sale price up there is 222 or Greenville is 295. And of course, this isn't unique to South Carolina. No matter where you go, if you go to Georgia or North Carolina or Florida, it, you know, your median sales price is gonna be largely dependent on where you're going to be. So if you're in Jacksonville or Boca Raton in Florida, you know, those, those two places are very different and command very different pricing. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna talk about is food. And it's, again, we're only covering a few of these topics uh, or, or the metrics that go into measuring a state's cost of living. But we're gonna cover food because the reality is you gotta eat, right? So it's a pretty big part of your cost of living. And a recent 2022 study by the Missouri Economic Information Center ranked South Carolina as 101, just like the cost of living measures you know, that we use. So that's 1% higher than the national average. So South Carolina is not exactly cheap for food. It's not you know, an inexpensive place from that standpoint, but it's only 1% above the national average. Uh, if you look at some place like Hawaii, it's 150. So they're 50% above the national average, if that gives you a little bit of an idea. So one quick little pro tip here is I've included a link below in the description, which you can click on and it can get really specific. So let's say you're moving from New York to Hilton Head, South Carolina, and the specific town in New York, you wanna know what the comparison is in terms of cost of living in, in that town to Hilton Head, you can actually plug in the town, you can plug in Hilton Head, and it's gonna give you a direct comparison and it's gonna break it down. So you can use that link, it's actually really cool. I played around with it. I kinda of messed around with my hometown back in Massachusetts to here where I live in Bluffton, South Carolina to compare the two. Um, and it was kind of cool. So hopefully you'll get some use out of that. If you liked the video, you know, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love that. And then uh, hopefully you'll check out some of our other videos too that uh, will keep you informed on potentially relocating to the Southeast.